Hello dear students, this is Mohammad Shahnawaz, a student teacher, Jalalabad BL High School, Dokhin Shuma Select. Dear students, once again I am here to discuss on an unseen passage for the students of class 9 and 10. Dear students, before entering into the deep of the topic, I want you to enjoy a song. So please, enjoy the song. Students, the song you have enjoyed is one of the most popular songs in Bangladesh and West Bengal as well. The students, can you say who is the composer of this song? Yes, the composer of this song is Baul Shah Abdul Karim. And today we are going to discuss on an unseen passage about Baul Shah Abdul Karim. Dear students, now on the screen, I'm going to show you a passage. The thing that you have to do, you have to go through the whole passage. Because after reading the passage, you have to do something with the passage. So please read the passage very well. But when you will be reading the passage, definitely you will get some unknown words that may create a little bit problem to understand the passage so i would like to discuss on the words first dear students let's be introduced with some new words composer composer can you recall the meaning let's see the picture and try to guess the meaning Composer means a person who writes music. Students, let's try to make a sentence using the word composer. Kaji Nozul was a composer of many extraordinary songs. Look at another word, hardship. Hardship. Can you say the meaning? Look at the picture. And try to guess the meaning. Hardship means adversity, misery or difficulty. Dear students, let's try to make a sentence with the word hardship. She passed his life with great hardship. Let's see another word spiritual. Spiritual. Can you recall the meaning of the word spiritual? Please see the picture and try to guess the meaning. Spiritual means non material or psychological. Now let's try to make a sentence using the word spiritual. We need spiritual discipline. Look at another word, instrument, instrument. See a picture related to the word instrument and try to guess the meaning. Instrument means tool or utensil or device. Dear students, let's make a sentence using the word instrument. She sang without using any instrument. Let's see another word. Fook. Fook. Can you say the meaning of fook? Look at the picture and try to guess the meaning. Fook means relating to the traditional art or culture of a community or nation. Let's try to make a sentence using the word fook. 
The folk songs of Bang Bangladesh are very rich. Dear students, I think you have understood the passage very well, but I'd like to read the passage once again. So please, let me read the passage once again and try to understand the passage very well. Dear students, let's read our today's topic passage below very carefully. Baul Shah Abdul Karim was one of the most famous folk singers and composers in Bangladesh. He was born in Ujandhal in Dirai Upajila, Shramganj on 5th February 1916. He spent his whole life in his small village. Shah Abdul Karim grew up in poverty and hardship from his childhood. Poverty forced him to get into agricultural labor. At the age of 12, he studied some time in a night school at his own village, but he learned from nature. He received training on spiritual and bowl music from Shah Ibrahim Mastan. Ektara, a traditional single instrument, was his constant companion. He, along with Baul Kamaluddin, performed folk songs at different public meetings at the United Front election in 1954. He wrote over 1,500 songs. His songs have been compiled in six books such as Ganashangit, Aftab Shangit, Kalnid Dheu, Bhatir Chiti, Dhal Mela, Kalnir Kule. Bangla Academy translated 10 of his songs into English. He was awarded Ekushe Podok for his outstanding contribution in 2001. He also received some other awards like Druhe Kotha, Druhi Kotha Shahitik. Abdurrof Choudhury Award in 2000. He died in Silet on 12 September 2009 due to respiratory problems. Dear students, I think you have understood the passage very well. Now you have to do a task. What is the task? You have to write a summary of the passage. But whenever you try to write a summary, some questions arise. What are the questions? So please, whenever you will try to write the summary, you have to keep some things in your mind. What are the things? The first one is the length. It's a big question from the student side. What, what will be the length of the summary? The students, you have to keep in your mind that the length of the summary will be one third of the length of the passage. That means if the length of the passage is 150 words, you have to use 50 words to write a summary. Now, two most important sentences. It's a question. Will you use all sentences from the passage to write a summary? No. To write a summary, we have to choose some important sentences from the passage. If you try to write the all sentences, the length of the summary will be a big one. So, you have to choose some important sentences that may uh, give the ideas of the passage. Then the third one, your own words. It's another important question is that, will you write the sentence as it is? No. We can't use the sentences from the passage in the summary as it is. The sentences should be written in our own words. So, whenever you will try to write the summary, you have to keep 
three things in your mind. The first one is length. Length will be one third of the passage. Then most important sentences. There will be a lot of sentences in a passage, but we can't take all the sentences for the summary. We have to take only some important sentences. Then your own words. The sentences that we will take from the passage. Can you use the sentences as they are in the passage? No. We have to write the sentences in our own words. So dear students, now we will try to write the summary of the passage that we have already read about Baul Shah Abdul Karim. Dear students, when we will try to write the summary at the very beginning, we have to use such a sentence that can give a short idea about the passage. So, what will be the first sentence for the for any summary of the any passage? We can write about the main theme of the passage. What is the main theme of the passage? The passage that we have read a little ago. It was about the biography of Shah Abdul Karim. So, as the first sentence, we can write the passage narrates the biography of Baul Shah Abdul Karim for any summary we can write this kind of sentence if the sentence is about Rabindranath Tagore we can write the passage narrates the biography of Rabindranath Tagore if the passage is about Kaji Nazrul Islam, we can write the passage narrates the biography of Kaji Nazrul Islam. That means we can, for any summary, we can use a common sentence that can give a clear idea about the passage. After this sentence, what can be used? I told you earlier that we have to uh, choose some important sentences from the uh, for this uh, summary, which sentence can be chosen? Look at the passage. Uh, at the age of 12, he studied some time in a night school at his own village. But he learned from nature. We can use these two sentences. But we can't use these two sentences directly as they are in the passage. We have to take the main theme of the passage. We can take the meaning of the passage, but we can't use the sentences as they are. So, what can be written for the uh, using these two sentences? We can write, though he did not learn much from school, though he did not learn much from school he learned from nature the students uh, we have modified two sentences from the passage and write down this one sentence. This is though he did not learn much from school, he learned from nature. That means we did not use the sentences directly in the summary. We have modified these two sentences and take the theme of the sentences but write the sentences in our own way. 
So I have written though he did not learn much from school, he learned from nature. Then what can be written? Again we have to choose another sentence from the passage. These students, uh, for the third sentence, we can use a sentence from the passage. The sentence may be, he received training on spiritual and bowel music from Shah Ibrahim Mastan. Um, I, I would like to repeat it once again. He received training on spiritual and bowel music from Shah Ibrahim Mastan. We will take this sentence for our summary. But again you have to remember that we can't use the sentences directly as they are in the passage. So we will modify the sentence, we will change the structure of the sentence. How can we write this sentence? We can write Shah Ibrahim Mastan. Shah Ibrahim Mastan was his spiritual spiritual and bowl music trainer. Okay? We have modified the sentence, we have changed the structure of the sentence as, and take only the meaning of the passage and written in our and have written in our own way. Shah Ibrahim Mastan was his spiritual and bowel music trainer. We have already written three sentences. Then we will write the fourth sentence. And to write the fourth sentence, we have to take another sentence from the passage. So, which sentence can be taken? Uh, we can take the sentence, He along with Baul Kamaluddin uh, performed folk, folk songs at different public meetings of the United Front election of 1954. We can take this sentence from the passage. But we can't use the sentence as it is in the uh, summary. So we have to modify this sentence and we have to write the sentences in our own way. So we will write the sentence like this. He contributed in the United Front. In the United Front election, election of nineteen fifty four by performing folk songs. Along with along with Baal Kamaluddin These students you have seen how we have modified the sentence and written the sentence in our own way, in our own uh, verse. He contributed in the United Front election of 1954 by performing folk songs along with Baal Kamaluddin. That means we have taken the sentence from the passage but we have written the sentence in our own verse. Then we have to, we can write another sentence because you know the length of the passage was 199 verse 199 verse so our the length of the passage will, will be around 66 verse 
So, if you count the words, you will see we need some more words to complete the summary. That's why we will we can write another sentence. But which sentence can be selected from the passage? So please, okay, let's see the sentence. Yes, we can use he wrote over 1500 songs. His, his songs have been compiled in six books such as Gono Shangit, Aftab Shangit, Kalne Dheu, Bhatir Chithi, etc. etc. We will just modify the sentences and we will take the verse that we need. So, uh, we can write the sentences as He enriched our tradition He enriched our traditional culture culture by composing over 1500 songs which were compiled which which are compiled in six books Dear students, if you count the words, you will see there are 69 words. We, we are needed 66 words, but uh, we have written 69 words. That means we can write around 66 words because the length of the passage was 199 words. And one very important thing is the length of the summary will be one third of the length of the passage. That's why I have used uh, around 66 words to write my summary. The students, uh, now I'd like to read out the summary once again and you will see how I have written the summary from the passage that we have read. The passage narrates the biography of Baal Shah Abdul Karim. At the very beginning, we have to write such a sentence that can give a short uh, description of the passage, that can give a short idea about the passage. So, well, I have written the passage narrates the biography of Baal Shah Abdul Karim as the first sentence. Then, which sentences will be used? It will depend on the important sentences available in the passage. So, we have to choose some important sentence from the passage for the summary. So, I have taken a sentence, two sentences actually. Though he did not learn much from school, he learned from nature. Actually, I have taken two sentences from the passage, but I modified the two sentences into one and I have written the sentence in my own words and I have written though he did not learn much from school he learned from nature then I have taken another sentence from the passage but I have written the sentence in my own words Shah Ibrahim Mastan was his spiritual and bowel music trainer then I have taken another sentence and from the passage and modified the sentence like this. He contributed in the United Front election of 1954 by performing folk songs along with Baal Kamaluddin. Then I have written another sentence. Actually, I have taken two sentences from the passage, but I have modified the sentences and make the sentence into one. And I have written the sentence in my own words. It is, he enriched our traditional culture by composing over 1500 songs which are compiled in six books. Dear students, uh, thus I have written 
a summary and the length of the summary is around 66 words and why have I used 66 words here as the length of the passage was 199 words so I have to written one third of the length of the passage that's why I have written around 66 words here so dear students I think you have better understand how to write the summary so I think and I believe that any if you have any passage and if you are told to write the summary you will be able to write a summary very well and I will always um, uh, request you to practice this item again and again because it's a great opportunity for you to be rewarded 10 marks to write the summary by writing the summary you can be rewarded 10 marks so it's very much important for you to practice it again and again now I would like to give you some homework you have to transform some uh, informations from the table to the uh, from the text to the table and you can see some gaps in the uh, table and the gaps are asking some informations and you have to take the informations from the passage it is called information transfer that is homework for you for the next day so please complete your homework send me and I will assess your homework and send you back dear students thank you very much for staying with me and I hope that you will remain safe. Thank you very much.